God needs my money? Do you think when I give, especially since it's working now, when I give a gift to Nathaniel, he really needs it, he can go buy it for himself. There is a joy there that God allows us to have, but make sure it's properly placed joy. Make sure that joy is in serving the Lord and not your own desires. Um, so here's the takeaway. Be cautious. Um, commercials especially, I love watching commercials and just kind of dissecting them. Commercials especially will draw you into things that you should have and things that you should be. I love the hair coloring commercials. Oh my gosh, you know, you deserve it. You should be this. Are you kidding me? You should be what? 98 pounds soaking wet and blonde? I mean, is that every woman? No, it's stupid. This is just dumb. Don't sit there and watch that stuff and be sucked into it. Know that you are loved by God as you are. Take that that he has given you. There's so many things about myself that I don't like. I, I've probably been overweight now for 15 years, ever since I, I quit exercising years ago. That's not something to duplicate, by the way, quitting exercise. But, but I, I, I just can't manage to do it. But you know what? I don't care. You know, it just doesn't matter to me. God loves me just how I am, and, and he uses my fatness for, for joy. <laughs> he does. He allows me to put a poke on every once in a while, and... And like I'll be sitting around with the kids and I'll play with my stomach and they just think that's hilarious. <laughs> that's, if that works for God, then if it works for God, then I am totally all about it. But take those things and make fun of them. Because it's not you. It, it really is not you. There's nothing you can do about who you are or what God's given you or whatever. Outside of that that you have prayed for and that you... you that God has given you, and I know that didn't sound right, but you guys understand what I'm saying. Um, make sure that you're not blinded by all that you have. Um, that was a good way to say this. Make sure that you're not blinded by all that you have and all that God has given you that you miss the real joy and blessing that God has there. Does that kind of make sense? I hope you guys can relate this back to it. And I, I said I threw a lot of stuff in, and I think I did. Um, there were probably too much stuff in it, it. It's not all about stuff. But my point here was the things that we have, whether tangible or intangible, that we have or that are given to us or that are available to us are not about you and what it is all about. So anyway, wrapping back around to my original point, and then I'm done, is... Um, Let's take this Christmas season and say, you know what, Jesus, it, it is about you. Every gift that you give, maybe pray before you give it, that, that God will be glorified in whatever it is. Even if you think it's a crazy and stupid gift, just in whatever it is, that God would be glorified. And let's try to come up to, to December 25th and really praise God for Jesus' life. I always struggled with, with Christmas. I mean, I get Easter. Man, do I get Easter. But Christmas, I mean, his birthday, are you kidding me? What's that? Why am I supposed to celebrate? But you know what I am? And I am supposed to celebrate Jesus' life and what he did for us and what he has called us to. And the part that he is in the Trinity. I mean, the, 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 the whole essence of the Lord and who he is to us. Um, let's celebrate that this Christmas and, frankly, throughout, throughout the rest of the year. Well, hopefully that makes sense. I don't know. It was kind of musings of Doug, but... Those are kind of some of the things that I've learned in my life, and hopefully you guys can too. But, but it's not about you. It, it is about Jesus. Let's, um, let's end with prayer. Father, I am. Um, um, Lord, I, I kind of came into this feeling a little goofy. Um, maybe it's the outfit, and maybe, Lord, it was just that uh, I tried too hard in my own words. But, Father, I, I thank you that um, you carried us through. And, Lord, I do pray that um, the words... Um, that came today, Father, would be in the hearts of those that you want to see. Some will see this and they'll say, yeah, I've heard that. I know that. Um, a lot of this is, is normal, but Lord, some of it's not. And, and some of it, Father, is so um, wow, so convicting and it's so um, what am I thinking of? It's, it's addictive, Lord. Just, just to, to think that we are deserving of any of the things that is given or any of what's out there to us, Father, is just addicting. And Lord, I pray that we would, we would walk away from that. Lord, that we would see your grace and your glory and your mercy in that for our lives, Father, and that we would just stand up and say, no, 
that we'd say, no, that's not the kind of life that we're going to live. That's not who we're going to be. That's not, um, it may not be words, but it's absolutely actions. And it's those around us that would see us living that word. And I pray that you would uh, that you take that from us. Father, I pray um, for each of these kids um, today, and for all of us as we go into the Christmas season, Lord, that we would understand, Father, the beauty of Christ's birth and Christ's life and Christ's death. Um, Father, that we would understand that it is all about Christ and that, um, that Father, His life of teaching and His death that I might have life is the most amazing gift ever given. And Father, that we would just cling to that, to the hope and to the promise. And Father, that from that would flow a love for you and a, a, a desire, Lord, to live lives that are, are pleasing to you. Um, so that that day, um, at the end of life, Father, you would look to us and say, well done, good and faithful servant, and not that no fruit would be produced by I am. Um, I just give you today my heart, and I pray that um, others here too would uh, do that so that we would turn over those things that are stumbling blocks that we have on the thrones of our lives, whether it's the gifts that you've given tangibly, whether it's the, the spiritual gifts that you've given that we, we hold with so much pride that they're absolutely worthless for your kingdom. Um, whatever it is, Father. Um, Father, I repent. I, I, uh, I just repent of those things and ask, Father, your forgiveness that um, those have stood for too long in my life and in my way of serving you, Father. Lord, I am uh, just humble, Lord, by um, who you are and the awesomeness of just your presence in our lives. I thank you that you um, have made such an impact in this ministry of Colonial and thank you that you made it such an amazing impact in my life and in the lives of many around. Father, thank you for this wonderful group of kids. Um, Lord, we love you and give you this day and all of the days coming up to Christmas, Lord, and I'll just extend that and say all the days of our lives. Lord, we love you. Thank you, guys. Love you.